So I talk about 3D printing a lot because that's what I do. I 3D print a lot of things. Um, well, then they talk about is, you know, um, is your bed level? You have good adhesion. Uh, is your filament not, you know, too moist? Like I've made a filament dehydrator or dryer out of a dehydrator and made tamales for it. They talk about is your nozzle good? Is your nozzle worn out? Well, then they don't talk about, though, is your extruder gear. Greetings, Dave here, DCB Effects. I want to talk about this because I was doing some prints. I'm doing something right now. I'm doing the Gridfinity from Zach Friedman. Um, check it out, it's really cool. I'm gonna do a video on it soon. I'm just about done. I have one more of these to print. This is a, um, I guess it'd be a reimagining uh, by someone else. I don't know his name in front of me, Kyle, Kyle Walker, I believe. And it's cool, and it's got some spots for magnets, and it's gonna go into a, a set of drawers, which I have right here, which you probably can't see. They're just right underneath here. But I'm gonna put it in, and it's a great storage system because it's modular, it does whatever you want. So as I was doing that, printing all the pieces, I'm noticing the adhesion's not really that great and things aren't going so well. And I took a look at it and I realized it's been four and a half years. I've never changed out my extruder gear. Let me give you a heads down and show you what I'm talking about. So this is the extruder gear. I'm going to get this into focus here. That, as you can see, has seen better days. This is a brand new one. I mean, where are we? There we go. Brand new one. And these are brass. So, you know, they're going to wear out over time because they're just going to I'll get chewed up, chewed, chewed up, chewed up. So that's a brand new one. Now, I bought these in bulk. I bought 10 and they were like less than $20. So it's definitely worthwhile doing. So what I noticed was now I have my little Lego figure that sits on top and he it's a uh, I think it's Lenny. It's Lenny or Kenny. It's the yellow one. He sits on top to give me a, you know, a, a visual guide of the extruder gear going. But there's another wheel. So when you have it going through the extruder, the, the gear is spinning and turning and pushing the filament through. And there's also a guide rail that should spin as well. As I was watching the beginning of this print go down, that second one's not spinning all that much. So I check my tension on it because it does, you know, the tension comes out on it. And this is on a CR-10S. And I started looking at it and I looked inside this extruder gear and there was a bunch of crap in it and everything else, which I, you know, cleaned up best I could. But yeah, it just makes the most sense. I, I, you know, stopped the print, pulled it off, put this new one on. And it's really, it's quite simple. All it is, you've got two, I get this here, you can see it. Oh, you can't see it here. Um, there's two, basically screws that you'd use your Allen keys to, to get in. Just put it in, you know, finger tight. Well, tight enough, so it's not going to go anywhere. And wow, night and day. Like I've printed three of these and I've got one more to go. I'm printing right now, actually, I'm printing a monitor stand. I want to rise my monitor up a little bit. I'm doing that, but that's for right now. Um, I'm going to finish this off. I'll set this last piece to print overnight. It's going to go in this uh, cabinet I've got right over here. So it'll be uh, really cool to have all that. So once I get the base plate down, then I'll start making them. So the way Gridfinity works is you you know you can make it you know uh, one by one, one by two, two by two, two by four, and make all these different sizes. And then he's made it parametric, so you can go in and say, I want it to be this long and this wide, and add this here. So this is really cool that Zach Friedman has done that. It's all available for you to use uh, at your leisure. He's not asking anything for it. And then immediately people are running in and remixing. It's like, well, that, cause this is a remix and it's uh, very cool. I need, to, I guess I need to order a whole buttload of magnets to go in there as well. So that's one thing you want to keep an eye on when you're printing. So if you're just not too sure that things are going on as they should, take a look at your Schroeder gear. And like I say, this is me. This is four and a half years. First time I've changed this one out. I probably should have done it probably a year ago. But this is what you can do to keep everything going. Because if you don't have good feed from your extruder gear, then you're not going to have good lay down on it. And that's how I noticed this was going not well. Because these are so thin, you run the risk of this peeling up off of the bed. So I thought, you know, I'm going to do this. I thought it just made sense to put a raft on rather than just doing it. The brim was like, okay, but it gives me something nice and solid to, to attach to. And I just noticed there were a lot of holes and gaps in the raft. And I went, this is not right. That's what got me looking at that. So that is the troubleshooting tip for everyone out there.
So that is today's video. More videos coming on this grid fin. Once I get this going, I'm going to start hammering out some boxes at work as well because I have two other printers at work and I've got some nice purple. So the white is nice or the, this is natural actually. It's nice because it's a white shelf. So it'll look nice. It'll sort of blend into the bottom of it and I'll have different colors to go through. I know when Zach made his, he had multicolors. So, you know, green is this and yellow is this and red is this and all that stuff. So I'll have some different color ones just to make it look cool. And I'll pull the drawer out and oh, I need a uh, hex. Okay, I need this. Okay, I need, this. okay. And it's a very cool system and it's just a great way to show off what a 3D printer can do for you. It's not just making toys. Or cool clips to hold your background lights. So that's today's video. I hope everyone's having a great day up here. It's snowy uh, in the great white north, but you know, it's okay because I took a trip to Toronto the day before and I didn't want to do that in snow. So I'm very happy it's not doing it now. All dug out, all good. So everyone, hey, have a great day. We'll talk to you all later.